nice of you to clap and uh, but I know what you're all thinking you're all thinking they've run out of celebrities <laughs> 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 yeah, people sitting at home going what was there one of those anyone can host contests what's going on exactly out there yeah. but they treated me nicely they sent a limo for me and uh, it worked out pretty good I followed it over my car and uh, <laughs> it worked out anyway my name is Jim Brogan originally from uh, Cleveland Ohio is my hometown <laughs> Now, you couldn't, you couldn't all be from Cleveland. Are you from Cleveland? Yeah. Oh, are you really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Shaker Heights? Cincinnati? That's a different town. <laughs> it's got many of the same letters, though. Cincinnati, sure. Yeah. I was born in Cleveland. I was a, uh, a large baby, 10 pounds, 8 ounces when I was born. I've lost weight since. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was born in Cleveland, and uh, it's a good city. Ohio, of course, is an Indian word. It means beautiful. Of course, Cleveland's in any word, it means not, so, um, <laughs> works out okay. Did I get that right? <laughs> Did I even say that joke right? Yeah. Ohio? Okay, because it usually gets a laugh. So, um, <laughs> I like being a kid growing up. Did you like being a kid? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Fun? Yeah, I think it was, I enjoyed being a kid, too. Uh, so my parents were too strict, I think. They used to send us to bed at 7 o'clock at night when we were little. We'd be all done sleeping about 3 in the morning, and, uh, by the time school started, I was ready for a nap. <laughs> the day was over for me. Yeah. I'll tell you the worst thing about being a kid, I think, is doing chores. Doing the dishes, taking out that garbage every day. That's the great thing about getting your own apartment. You move in that first day and you think to yourself, Whew, I'm done with chores. <laughs> <laughs> then about a month and a half, you got those dishes piled up in the sink and you have that science experiment growing in the shower. And you look around again, you think to yourself, I gotta have some kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle this by myself. Yeah, it was fun being a kid, except uh, my parents made me carry a lunchbox to school. Anyone else carry a lunchbox? Yeah. yeah, did you have a cool one? Like Batman, Superman, Barbie, did you have a cool one? I had the worst one, I think. I had the red and black plaid lunchbox. <laughs> yeah, might as well have a sign that said, beat me up, I'm a geek. <laughs> Wait here, this thing. Once I had to be a sophomore in college, I threw this thing away. And off I said. And I had the matching plaid thermos. Yeah, I was just doofus on parade, boy. Now carrying a bag was a cool thing, wasn't it? So sometimes your mom would run out of bags, and she'd give you your lunch in a full-size grocery bag. You just have to lie to the other kids. No, I got lunch for everybody today. Or worse, my mom would give my lunch in the leftover bread bag. And my mom wasn't buying that one pound loaf of bread. She was buying that survival shelter size. I'd be dragging it behind me on the ground. It's like I was trolling for other food. Uh, oh, look, I got a ham sandwich. Ooh, that'll be good. And all moms do the same thing. They put fruit in the lunch. And kids don't know what that's for. I think it's like that sprig of parsley comes to take you. Just throw that thing away. What is that? Good. See, I thought the reason that apple was in there had been refrigerated. It was in there to keep the candy bar from melting. <laughs> Some sort of cold pack is what I thought that was. See, moms know about sweets. Moms know to buy us stuff like Oreos. Dads don't know for some reason. They go to the store to get Oreos. It's on the list. For some reason, they always wander back with Hydrox. <laughs> Why'd you get these, Dad? Save the penny. <laughs> <laughs> or worse, my dad come over with those store brand Oreos, you know, those 1,300 to the package. <laughs> Just come walking in. They're so cheap, they say on the front, black cookies. Uh, <laughs> Oh, thanks, Al. I'll enjoy these with my Shasta Cola. 
<laughs> anyway, you guys are a good group. We have a, a fine show for you tonight. Uh, we have rock group Expose. Yeah. You're familiar with their work? Uh, Stephen First from St. Elsewhere. <laughs> and comedian impressionist Joe Restivo. So, yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after The Late Show is brought to you by Coors Light Beer, the Silver Bullet, and by Shearing Corporation, makers of fiber trim. now is one of the hottest bands in the United States. Their new single went to number six this week, and starting in August, uh, August 12th, they'll be touring with Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know who they are. This is their new album. It's called Exposure. Here to perform their 